Hey guys, RC here. We're back with episode 97, Football Manager 19, with uh, West Brom. Uh, so last episode we had the FA Cup win over Norwich and then a win over Leicester. This, uh, since then, we lost 2-0 to Liverpool, uh, Camilo Larajando with a brace. We stunned United 3-0, Jake Robinson Franeschini and Miguel Aguilera with goals for us. And then we managed a draw, nil-nil, with Man City. Uh, Liverpool is our next opponent in the FA Cup. So we were not going to come back until Brighton, but with the fourth round uh, FA Cup, I figured I would drop back in for that. So we'll do Liverpool and Bournemouth today. Uh, we are coming up in the last couple of days of the transfer window. Uh, this is a guy that we are waiting to sign. Uh, we have a contract offer out, so we won't actually cover him until he shows up. But we have made a couple of transfer deals. Uh, so we have moved uh, Jesus. He, uh, he wanted to move because he wasn't playing, as, as, of course, our backup keeper would not be playing very much. But he wanted to move on. We were able to sell him. I really liked him. He was a young Spaniard, uh, capped at the U-20 level. We moved him for $1.3 million to Valencia. And then I told you that with the glut of strikers, and we were playing a lot of one-striker formations, and at the end of last episode, we were talking about how I was kind of jammed up with homegrown, the need for homegrown players. I needed to free up some roster spots. So Mario uh, Russo, uh, the young Italian striker, goes to Juventus for five and a quarter million. Potential fees up to 14 million. Most of those are going to be attainable. So we will uh, we will pick up for you know close to 14 million over the time. And uh, Pat March, you saw. Uh, let's see, when did we, uh, hello, you coming into the shot? Come on in, come on in. Uh, let's see, so Lester was 1-9. All right, so this was after that. So we signed Connor Morgan. This was the first move in working to try to get some homegrown players. He comes to us from Watford, uh, basically for that $14 million fee for Russo. Nine and a half out of pocket now, $14 million over the, life he's a defensive mid he can play a little center back a little central mid uh he is welch um so it doesn't really help our homegrown i guess but he's good uh <laughs> he's pretty good uh three and a half star potential and uh, he's already started one match for us with a seven six rating uh aaron sainsbury is a backup keeper a uh, 28-year-old Englishman, so he fits that homegrown for us. He's not great, but that's good because he he is our backup. You know, he could probably do a job uh, if if we it suffered a long-term injury. We'll probably definitely we'll definitely look to make a move. But he he allowed us to have another uh, English uh, player, homegrown player, uh, in the uh, grouping there. So that's good. And uh, then we do have one other player, a left back, that we're looking to bring in. So let's get into today's match preview. Uh, we are slight underdogs at home. So this has been my go-to tactic recently when we are favorites. This is when we are heavy underdogs. And this is when we're slight underdogs. And so we're slight at home. And there's somebody else I need to be playing. Danny Olmo. Chukwuma. Anthony McDonald. All right. Um, mid... Where are you at? There you are. So I want him, and then we're going to start him in place of Taylor. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. 
Thank you. Uh, I promised him some some backup uh, time. Uh, let's see. Can I play Bassin game there? I can. And he can play he can play all the way back. Can I put him? Morgan Harris, there we go. All right, so March is actually getting starts. Wanted a, wanted a few of these guys to play. Bass and Gamey is uh, probably supposed to be a starter, but we've got we've got a lot of depth now, which is good. Uh, do it for the fans. I'm okay with that. Uh, so Liverpool just drilled us last time we played. West Brom. Let's give him some praise. Two on target. Still looking for chances. All right, Aguilera into the mixer. Oh, man, it came out of the keeper's hands. I thought we had a shot there. Oh. Come on. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this on Father's Day. So to any of you guys that are fathers, happy Father's Day to you. Uh, if you're not a father, call your dad and tell him happy Father's Day. He'll appreciate it, I promise. Well, most of them will appreciate it, I promise. Can't say everybody. Oh, that's a nice ball. Fogarty Bell. Easy, easy goal. We did not look good there, fellas. Uh, tactics. All right, we are not, okay, we're not using the offsides trap, so that's good. Half time. Do it for the fans. You've been unlucky so far. You weren't that bad. I have faith in you. Come on, boys. Rocking the Burger King drink today. All right. He's not playing badly. Taylor, let's go ahead and give McDonald some game time. Let's bring uh, Chick Wooma in. All right. Aguilera finds Courtney on the run. Lays it off. Danny Olmo into the box. Aguilera just wide. Push forward. Come on, boys. Uh, Danny Olmo. Tuati. Defensive right. Flores. Mid left. Yeah, let's. Let's go there. Demand more. 
We're already attacking. Larajondo into the box. Nice play by Douglas. Well, one nil is going to be a lot better than two or three nil, but still. All right, El Amrani. Uh, not good. They ended up with the advantage. We never got a chance. <sighs> Disappointing. I will agree with that. So that knocks us out in the fourth round. We were expected to make the fifth round, so we're going to have a little bit of a... Yeah... 2760 bucks. All right, well, we'll be back for Bournemouth here momentarily. We are back. So we did finalize that signing for Paul Hecker. The fans were not happy with it, but uh, I think he's all right. He's a left back, 26-year-old Englishman, 7 under 21 caps, uh, valued at $16.75 million. He could play left back. Uh, left uh, wing back and he can play a little bit on the right side uh, he does he is right footed uh, I like you know his his physicals are good they're not great uh, he's only three star of, of potential two and a half star current uh, de concentration decisions determination are really good so his his minnows are really good I like those tackling is solid passing is okay marking is solid uh, first touch is pretty good. Dribbling is average. So I'm hoping he can do the job. We'll see. I think he's going to slot in as a starter for us, to be fair. Uh, so we are back for a Premier League match today with Bournemouth. We're on the road. We are favorites. Uh, there is a downpour, 39 degrees and breezy. That is something I pay a little bit of attention to. So, But I am going to go... I'm going to go with this tactic today. Because of the weather, I'm tempted not to. But so Franeschini up top. Hecker slotting into that left left back slot. So that's uh, it's kind of what I thought. So he'll make his debut today. Good on him. Everybody on our team has a face. So that's good. It's like Cheers where everybody knows our name. All righty, we are in the yellow and green. Not a good look. I got to say, I don't like the West Brom kits very much. That blue away jersey is pretty pretty nice, uh, but the other ones I don't care for. The stripe patterns, not a fan. Not a fan. And I think I've decided this is going to be the last season. We're making a push for Europa League. You know, set piece. Douglas didn't even try. But I think this will be the last season, pretty sure. Brendan Taylor, a tight calf. Uh, let's see. I do need the West Brom stats. Let's go ahead and sub him out. Tight calf, Brendan Taylor. Branashini can play attacking mid right. So can March. Let's put March up there and let's see what he does. All right, there's our new man, Hecker. He throws it to the other team. That's not a good first impression. Hecker gets control. Oh, Aguilera with a nice move. And he shoots from range, knocked aside. Was it already out of play? I thought the keeper got his hand on that. Danielle. Hi. Come on, guys. Nine to two on shots. All right, Hecker again. Oh, he finds our own player, Aguilera. Somebody get to that ball, will you? Please? Hello? 
That is one thing I am not happy about with this tactic is those long shots. Yeah, disappointing. I'll go with that. We should have this game in the bag. Just not getting it done. Demand more. All right, Giannoni. Aguilera knocks it down to March. March into some space, lays it off to Olmo. Number 10 gets it to Robinson. Back to Olmo. Up to Aguilera. Franeschini lays it off to the outside to Hecker. He plays it in. Franeschini! Danny Olmo got a touch on it and steals the goal. Oh my gosh. We'll have a discussion about that after the match, I am sure. But all I'm worried about is it's a one nothing advantage. Good. Good. Dale Sinclair, that's our old guy. Oh. Is that our old guy? Yes, the 27-year-old Englishman. Sitting eight sub appearances. Oh my gosh. So yeah, he's he started nine, eight relief appearances. Oh well, hey. You wanted to leave. Oh, let me make a sub here. Aguilera. Declan Rice. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, you know what? Let's bring Luke Grasser in. Let's do that. And I've already made a sub due to injury, so I don't want to make that last one yet. Oh, a little bit of a heavy touch. Danny Olmo gets it down to Franeschini. March. Oh, nice through ball. Olmo should have put that one away. Come on, boys. Praise. Um, no, no. Connor Morgan, let's bring him in the defensive center. Hecker into the box. Robinson chests it down, and he buries it for his fifth of the season. All right, so now we want to go to skip that, continue with that. All right, now we can go into here. All right, when we've got the ball, we can go to sometimes time-wasting. Good. We've made all three subs, two nothing, five minutes of stoppage time, Hecker, March, into the box, oh the keeper gun lays out and makes a nice save, and we will take the two nothing win, 28 to four on shots. 61% possession. I am liking that. Good job, boys. So we are out of the FA Cup. All right, Taylor's out for one to two days. That's not bad. Quality of possession. Robinson needs one goal. And they, <laughs> they get a $1.9 million bonus if he scores 10 out of benching for the rest of the year. Paul Hecker makes his debut. All right, let's finish the day out. There we go. So we are sitting in sixth. United still has two in hand, two points behind. So they really have the advantage. We are up to plus 10 on goal differential, which is solid. 
We're tied with, you know, we're close to Man City. I think we can strike there. We could even catch Arsenal with a little bit of luck because Man United is going to be the one to take us out. Other than that, I think we're okay. We're going to be solidly, I think we're solidly sitting seventh position. So it's possible, depending on how Europa and, and uh, Champions League play out, we may sneak that spot like we did that one year where we finished seventh and still qualified. But we're doing okay. So where do we come back? So pretty solid month. Five wins. Well, four in the league. So four wins, uh, one loss, one draw. I mean, if I could go four, one, and one every month, I'd be happy with that. Uh, <laughs> we'd be doing pretty solid. I think we go ahead and blow through February. Let's come back. Uh, God, I'm probably asking for an ass kicking, but let's come back for... Uh, sure. Sure. Tottenham and Chelsea, 1-2 in the table. Gives us four more matches. And then I think after that we come back for the season finale, Bolton and West Ham. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But like I said, I, I'm 95% I'm 90, sure this is going to be the last year for this save. And we'll come back with a... Uh, we are going to do a, a journeyman, uh, so we'll we'll see how that uh, goes. I'm, I'm, I need to get in, start a league, look at it, just double check a few things. But um, that's kind of my thought process. I think I know where I want to go, what con what country, what continent, uh, because it'll be a continental journeyman is is what I'm projecting. So I just need to get in and look at it. Um, make sure it works the way I think it will. I have it played there in... Hmm, excuse me, sorry about that. Haven't played there in a long time. Probably FM 17 maybe, maybe even before that. 14 possibly? Because I went from 14 to 17. Um, I think that's it. Uh, as far as the squad, how are we doing? So Franeschini has reached 10 goals. Robinson is on five. Let's mark out the guys that are unavailable. Brendan Taylor's on five, as is Olmo. It's just really, Chikwuma's got one and five. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. We just have not had a breakout goal score. That's that's been the disappointing thing. Uh, Courtney is transferring out, so I believe he is registered. Is he not, Courtney? So he's going to drop us to twenty-four and nine. I think that gives us plenty. You know what I think I'm going to do? We don't play again for three days. So let's... I'm going to unregister him. And then we're going to bring back in... Let's see. Heinrich Walter is 4-6. to six. Baliku should be coming back within a few weeks. So we'll add him back in. That gets us to 25. We still have the 9, so I think we are good. We're good there. All right. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you guys next episode. Pound the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind or if you haven't yet. And that is much appreciated, guys. We'll see you. Bye.